Today our lecture is on the Umayyad Caliphate. The Umayyads ruled from 661 to 750. The State and Society of the Umayyads The first Arab dynasty of the Umayyads ruled for more than one century. Its border extended from the east, China, and the west along North Africa to the shores of the Atlantic and up into Spain. Generally speaking, the Umayyad rulers were very autocratic and held absolutist government protected by its military. They produced a society based more on the command of the caliph than the command of God. The Umayyads focused on conquest for the spread of Islam. The stability of the Umayyad empire depended on the stability of their Syrian warriors. The Umayyads also developed its maritime powers. The Umayyad society was based on Arab aristocracy that constituted a hereditary social caste. Arab Muslims enjoyed a special tax privilege. They were exempted from the more substantial taxes that the non-Muslims paid. Non-Muslims had to pay jizya tax. Some Christians converted to Islam perhaps by choice or perhaps for economic opportunity. The Umayyads set out to create a new culture by erecting great palaces, mosques, hospitals and other public buildings and by appointing non-Muslims at various administrative positions. Here in this slide, we can see the vast Umayyad Empire, China to North Africa, Atlantic to Spain. In the sector of education, the Umayyad administration organized the al qasas narration under which teachers were employed in the mosques. Mosques gradually became the core centers of educational activities. Literary studies were also pursued in mosques. Poetry was also studied there. It is reported that 40 educational circles, zawayas, were present in the mosque Jamia al Amr itself. The other educational institution of the Muslims was the elementary school, Qutb. Qutbs were situated mostly in teachers' houses and also in the mosques. The curriculum and textbooks of these elementary schools was mainly based upon Quran. Education was also carried out in the royal palaces as well as the palaces of the leading figures of the society. The teacher was called Muaddib, tutor or preceptors. The word Muaddib was derived from the root Adab. In the field of art and architecture, the Umayyads had left a significant contribution. This picture shows the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem, which is sacred to the Muslims 
Jews and Christians. In this picture, we see the Umayyad Mosque or the Great Mosque that was built at Damascus, Syria. It owes to the Byzantine architecture. The sixth Umayyad Caliph Al-Walid commissioned the construction of the mosque on the site of an Assyrian sanctuary. It has the finest decorative mosaics in the world. It is now under the UNESCO's World Heritage List. The Dome of the Rock The golden roofed Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem was constructed by the Umayyad ruler Abd al-Malik and completed in 691. It was built during the reign of the Umayyads to commemorate Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, journey. In 620 AD, Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven with angel Jibrail. It is known as shab -e miraj He also journeyed with angel Jibrail to pray near the rock with other prophets and receive confirmation that he had chosen Islam religion. For some Jews, it is sacred because it stands on Temple Mount the site of Solomon's temple. The Jews believe that the Dome of the Rock was twice destroyed in ancient times and it must be built to herald the coming of the Jewish Messiah. The Al-Aqsa Mosque was built on top of Mount Temple is also known as Haram al Sharif. The Al Aqsa Mosque was originally erected by Caliph Umar radiallahu anhu. Later it was rebuilt and expanded by the Umayyads. The Al Aqsa Mosque was destroyed several times by earthquakes, so it was rebuilt by the Abbasids and the Fatimids caliphs. The Al-Aqsa Mosque is generally considered the third most holy city after Mecca and Medina. So the Umayyads were the first Muslim empire and they expanded their territory as we have seen in the map. They were more focused on territorial expansion. Nevertheless, they had also left significant contribution in the field of education, art, and architecture. Thank you.